Hi everyone. I've been asked how, I cr how to create vampire bites without using scar wax. So first of all, you just need some cotton wool. And yes, yet again, my old friend lash glue. Take a little bit of cotton wool, just a tiny bit. Sorry, I've just knocked the camera. Roll it up into a, a line, into a sausage sort of shape. like that and then make it into a circle like so make another one of those so take a piece, thin piece of cotton wool roll it between your fingers and then roll that into little circle shape like that take your lash glue and apply it to the area where you want the bite I'm just going to do it with my hand because it's easy to show you because it is really awkward to try and do this on your neck it's easier if you've got someone to do it on, on you or you do it on someone else Right, so I've just rolled it up into a smaller circle and stick that on my hand. And I'm gonna do the same with the other one, we'll make it make it smaller. I'm trying to just keep knocking the camera. stick that on, apply lash glue over the top doesn't look like much yet but we haven't finished yet stick plenty of lash glue on smooth down the edges of the cotton Keep smoothing it down. Then just scrape in the middle to create the hole. Just going to wipe my applicator and then. Blend it down as much as you can, which is basically exactly what I do with the scar wax. It's just I've had to put the cotton wool on first and mix lash glue in with it. Don't worry, the area of cotton wool will be covered in makeup because that'll be like the swollen area of the later of the with the swollen area of the uh, wound Just blend that in a bit with your finger okay so it looks like that so far let me just improve that circle there first like so then leave that to dry for about it's about five minutes or so um, depends how, how thick the cotton wool is to it, as to how long it takes to dry but basically the minute it goes hard and it's not sticky it's done so I'm just going to leave that to dry then all you do is apply some black eyeliner in the middle and some red 
eyeshadow around the edge and then just add a little drop of fake blood in each hole obviously there won't be a lot of blood because the vampire sucked it all out then if it's uh, if the blood sticking up a bit we can just take off a little bit of the excess and that's it that's how to create a vampire bite without scar wax hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to thumbs up comment and subscribe